It's so delightful. It smells super high quality. Honey is okay, Chris. <laughs> this is this is good. It is a really, really pretty scent. I can see why this one is getting all of the compliments. Oh, this is very sexy. This fragrance is called The Boss by Christopher Lee Fragrances, but I had to reach out to them on Instagram and tell them, your fragrance is bomb. Like, that's good. I'm a money magnet. Draped in designer. I stay high fashion. Bougie, no, I'm high all right y'all so i got an update video for my homeboys first of all i want to let y'all know that is a weekend sale going on right now so for all y'all that didn't smell one of these highly anticipated fragrances i'm talking about they making splashes in the side of the community i haven't seen a bad comment yet i do want to let y'all know if y'all already picked up a fragrance can you please go over there to fragranica and drop a review be honest because before the fragrances even dropped i don't know who hate the boss but they ran to fragranica and left some bad reviews so it's not looking too good over there so if y'all gonna help me out i would really appreciate that i want the reviews to reflect what y'all really mean they was up there saying that the stud was a feminine fragrance i was looking at the orders on the stud like i didn't even sell the stud yeah how the hell is do anybody even know as if they was just leaving bad reviews y'all so for all my homeboys that love me, please go leave some reviews on Frey Chronicle. You gotta make you an account though. I got all the fragrances. Honey Water, Sunny Afternoon, The Stud. I actually been wearing The Stud all day today. I really love The Stud. And hey, this fragrance is just sexy. This is good. This is highly underrated. I've been keeping this fragrance like real close to me. I haven't been sending it to none of the reviewers because I just love it so much. But it's like, I might as well start talking about it. I'm realizing because I'm not talking about it, it's not getting no sales. And this is like one of the best fragrances I got. And I'm not even talking about it. This right here, banger. Warm, spicy, cardamom. This fragrance right here is in the same realm as Azaro Remote's Wanted, Spice Bomb Extreme, One Million Privé. This is like my own personal Privé fragrance. This is a banger, I'm not lying. If y'all like them boozy Privé fragrances, y'all gonna love this. That's actually the only warm and spicy fragrance in my whole collection. I also have the Boss. Y'all know about the Boss, this is like, what are you talking about? Highest complimented fragrance almost of all time around here, I ain't lying. Ask anybody who bought the Boss, let's ask them if they ever got compliments with it. Everybody that wore the Boss got compliments, it's crazy. The Jock, I think the Jock is like the sexiest fragrance out of all of them. Like when you think of sex and laying down with your lady and you trying to come off seductive, you wanna put on the Jock. Red Falls also is sexy, baby. Like I'm like that sweet apple pear that I put inside this fragrance with them tobacco notes and that little sandalwood. Man, I'm gonna mix this with the stud. Ooh -wee. I had the stud on today. I ran down to the mailbox. Somebody, I was getting off the elevator. Somebody was getting on. It was like, oh, you smell good. I was like, thank you. But in my head, I know I smell good. She ain't had to tell me. You know, we got that sophisticated. Talk about a strong getting in your face. All right, y'all. So that's a little update about the fragrances. If y'all want to know about like sales numbers, the Jock sold the most. Honey Water is in second place. The Boss is in the close third. Then the Sunny Afternoon. Man, my fragrances is so fire, bro. I still, to this day, when I was making this whole collection, like I always thought to myself, like this is probably the best lineup of fragrances of all time. The Boss is a masterpiece fragrance. Like if you smell it, it's a masterpiece. The Stud, warm, spicy cardamom. It's my Lazard the most wanted. The Jot, it got that peach note. It's fruity, fresh, seductive. Everybody love the Jot. Honey Water is Honey Water. Like y'all know about Honey Water. Like come on now. Sunny Afternoon, that's the summer banger. That's my actual summer fragrance. When I make a top 10 summer fragrance list, that fragrance is gonna always be on that list. That's one of my favorite summer fragrances of all time. Red Fall, perfect for the fall time and winter time. Like all the seasons is met with here. When I come out with the new chapter of fragrances because this, these seven fragrances are the first chapter, I'm gonna start getting into more floral scents. I've been buying some floral oils. I'm also coming out with a new the Jock. Y'all not even ready for that. I'm gonna tell y'all more news on it, but just know the Jock is gonna have a flanker. 
and that flanker is gonna be really them ones. All right, let's get into some more news. Another thing I want to tell y'all is that I have samples of John Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. So expect it before you buy from this fragrance as well. This is the real decan. That's the bottle right there. I'm really excited to review this. I haven't smelled it yet. Another fragrance that I can't wait to review. Scandal. Absolute. You know, this just came out. I didn't want to buy the whole bottle, so I just got me a little sample. It's looking nice. So expect it before you buy from these two, John Paul Gaultier's. All right, let's talk about the update on YSL Myself Le Parfum. I have been wearing this fragrance all week. I know when I first smelled it and I did the review, I said it smells very similar to Born and Roma Intense. And I've been smelling it lately and I still got that same synopsis. Honestly, the only thing that's different from this is they put that pepper in the opening. And I really don't know why they did that because all it do is just make me sneeze. This is still a good fragrance. I don't want y'all to think I'm just hating on it. It's a good scent. It's okay. Just understand it's redundant, but it's going to be mass appealing. A lot of people is going to pick up this scent, especially if they're not familiar with Valentino. I'm also doing a before you buy of some new Middle Eastern fragrances. This right here is called Imperial Blue. This company sent me their fragrances. I already smelled it in the car and um, I got something to say because I really don't like them. They're super, really not my cup of tea. It smells so Middle Eastern, like it smells like the Middle Eastern fragrance. And you have to wait like an hour or two for this fragrance to dry down just for you to really smell the more popular notes in this fragrance. This one is just terrible. This is probably the worst Middle Eastern fragrance I smell of all time. Hands down. We gonna talk about it though. And this company probably is never gonna send me a fragrance ever again. But that's okay. All right, y'all. This is the news y'all probably have been waiting for. But yes, I have bought me a fake bottle of Louis Vuitton Unbre. I tried to be super cheap by picking this fragrance up on Amazon. I should have just went to the actual outlet and just bought the fragrance because it's an actual Louis Vuitton store at the mall that's by my house. But I seen this fragrance for $180. I thought I lucked up. I thought I won. I didn't even think they made fake Louis Vuitton fragrances. I didn't even know. But I had posted this fragrance as a scent of the day. One of the persons in the comments, they let me know. They was like, hey, big boss, man, that bottle look a little strange. And I'm like, what you trying to say, it's fake? I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, it ain't no way this fake because this scent actually smells like Ombre Nomad. I swear to God. So I went to some more reviews of this fragrance and the fake bottle, the top, you take off the top and like this little middle part comes with it. This part is supposed to be like flush with the bottle and you're supposed to only take off like this top layer right here. Bought me a fake bottle, man. But this still smell like Ombre Nomad. Just a real lighter version. So they really did get me, man. But hey, I don't know how they got it to <laughs> smell like that. But I hit up Amazon said, take it up to Staples to do a return. So I plan on doing that whenever I feel like going to Staples. But you gotta watch out y'all when y'all buying them expensive fragrances i suggest y'all just go to the outlet or maybe joma shop that's a good store or fragrancenet.com so y'all won't be like me purchasing fake bottles i might lose my credibility man i don't know what's going on but i do want to let y'all know that unbreak nomad is a banger fragrance and i'm not gonna lie to y'all because i used to have a sample of this fragrance i'm still gonna do a review with this fake bottle okay I don't think I'm really gonna even show the bottle too much in the video and I'm probably gonna let people know in the video that the bottle doesn't look like this so yeah man beware of the fake bottles okay that's all the news I got for y'all today fragrance is smelling good more reviews it's looking real good over here in Big Boss Town all right I love y'all so much thanks for watching make sure you drop a like on this video fake bottle of Louis Vuitton I would have never guessed it all right y'all I'm out